Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Tell me the attributes of Baphomet. Tell me start something about it. Attributes as in powers or looks? Looks, powers, tell me about it. Okay. So he's depicted as a goat with a human body, he's got tits and a penis. Okay? Okay. So he is the image of duality. And his attributes, he has the exact same attributes as God. Can you tell me how he can be God that has two boobs and a penis and his head is a goat? Can you tell me how on earth does that even resonate with an all-knowing, all-powerful God, a God of mercy and justice? So that's just what he's depicted as. So if you're putting it that way... Why is he depicted in okay. that way? Why not another way? Okay. He's depicted as the image of duality. So duality, coming from a man, a man and a woman, okay. and then a goat, so animal, woman, man, all three in one. Okay, but how, how can I relate that and say that is God worthy of worship? I don't believe God is an entity. No, not at all. Then what then? Huh? What is that all talking about? What is that you ready? Talking? Everything! Everything! Okay. What does that mean? Literally what I said. That everything is God. Wait a minute. Say that one more time. So, so if two people are fighting, would you say it's God fighting God? I wouldn't use that term, no. No, but is it? It is technically God versus God, isn't it? No, not technically. Remember, it's not that is God. It's just a, a label. I don't put too much uh, emphasis. Okay, then is it the God label versus the God label? You, you could use that label. Yes. Astaghfirullah. Alhamdulillah <laughs> You see, it's, it's like riding a bicycle, isn't it? Like, yeah. if you have learned yeah, it once, once you just, yeah. then it's, it's, it's not uh, difficult to forget. Yeah. His God, which is small God, which is not even a spirit, which is not even a spirit, but my God is big enough, He can come on earth the way He wants. He can come on earth Whenever he wants, he came to the Mount of Tur. The Mount of Tur. What did he give to Moses? You tell me. You haven't heard about this. Learn about what? <laughs> that the God the came to Moses yeah, that's the on the mountain. No, God didn't come to Moses. We don't oh, believe that. Oh, you don't believe that? No, we don't believe God came to Moses. No, oh, okay. Moses said, yeah? so, no, we don't believe that. So, so my God, yeah, your God, is a powerful enough that he can come on the mountain to give ten commandments to Moses. Ten commandments, which Islam have no one, no ten commandment at all. Islam doesn't believe that. So my God is still powerful. Okay, can I answer now, Uncle? So no, I can't answer. No, no, no. You are just listening now. Okay, okay. Because no, no, I'm answering yeah. now. Done. Okay, you so are initially, not, you are not answering. Yeah. The real way we put it is this: is that the presupposition, as I was explaining to you before, yeah. is that the punishment has to be proportionate in time with the crime. And, I, and I'll give you this example. That be just and merciful. I'm mean, so right, 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 right. So here's here's what I'm saying. Look. If I, 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 if this man here, this good-looking man, yes, <laughs> he pulls out a knife. Hopefully he doesn't because that happened before some time ago. Uh, anyway, and, 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 and he puts it and he kills me or kills this man next to him or, or something like that, right? Hopefully no one actually does this. But let's say someone does that. Now, he kills me, I, I said this to you before. And then he's presented in a court of law. And then the judge says to him, okay, we're going to or the jury even, we're going to decide on the appropriate punishment. And this man, this strapping young man, he comes in front of the judge and he says, look, I want to be punished for exactly one second 
because the time I spent to kill this man was one second. Yeah. Therefore, the punishment should be one second because the crime took a second to commit. Now, someone will say, well, actually, that makes no sense because actually the crime, the gravity of the crime, despite it being a second, uh -huh. was enormous. The enormity of the gravity of the crime was huge. Therefore, this, this kind of reasoning wouldn't even apply. I agree, it would be factual. Okay. Yes, yes. However, when you extend to infinity, infinity is a totally different order of measurement, yeah? Yes. Now, the, I'm not suggesting that the one-second crime should have a one-second punishment. It should be, to an extent, consequentialist and proportional. But once you start magnifying things to infinity, it means that even if everybody on the planet were to suffer torture for a hundred years, it would still be less than if Dawood, God forgive, God forbid, would have suffer um, infinite torture forever. That would be still be right. more. So, Infinity just changes. So, so the whole Tony, there's 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 something you've done here, which requires justification on your part. I would like to, to ask your help to, to help me to understand this experience because our Father in heaven, yes. that is the moon in heaven. Heaven means sky. Our Father is not really the moon, is it? Our father appeared to me, this is how he appeared to me. Yeah, but how do you know that was a father? Because I saw him, I saw a father figure, like I'm looking at you at the moment. Yeah, a father figure could be anyone. Does it mean that no, it has no. to be Almighty God? Well, uh, again, I am sharing with you my experience, and my experience is that the moon transformed into a human face. Yeah, I, I totally understand what you're saying. And Abba, but the question like a I'm asking in heaven, the question, the question you need to, the question you need to, the question you need to answer is this: first and foremost, do you believe God is only one? Yes. Do you believe that God is Almighty? He is the Creator. Do you believe He's the Creator and He's the Almighty God? I believe that He is our Father and He's the Creator. Okay. Yes. Do you believe Almighty God is human? Almighty God cannot be human. Thank you. That father figure you saw, can it be Almighty God? Yes. But you said it cannot be human. But the father figure you saw was human. So Our you're contradicting father. yourself. Can the universe come from nothing? No. Okay. Can the universe create itself? No. Can we say the universe has always been there? I don't know enough okay. science to say that. Okay, to say that, for example, the universe has always been there, is to say that the universe is infinite. What that would mean is that it has no beginning or end. But we know the universe had a beginning point. Yeah? That the point of Big Bang exploded. We don't know why it